in the last month and a half, India's three advanced light helicopter, that is the Dhruvs, have crashed. The Navy, the Coast Guard and the Army has all lost a helicopter each. Unfortunately for the Army, it also lost its technician on board the helicopter, a soldier. The series of crashes have once again brought the indigenous helicopters under the spotlight. To be fair, the helicopters have clocked over 3 lakh flying hours and this flying includes in worst kind of terrain where regular helicopters, that is the foreign helicopters, will find it tough to keep up. There are over 300 of the ALHs, that is advanced light helicopters or the Dhruvs, in service with the Indian military and the Coast Guard. But then even one crash is problematic and in a span of a month and a half, Three have taken place. The problem is that the second and the third crash happened after the fleet was grounded following the first crash of the Navy. In all, the three crashes, the pilots have reported what has been termed as an a quote, technical, quote, closed issue. However, the print has learned that while the court of inquiry into these crashes are yet to be completed and the flight data recorder yet to be analyzed, the two crashes have happened due to what has been termed as maintenance issues at the service level and not any kind of manufacturing defect per se. Remember that in the last five years, over a dozen droves have crashed, leading to the death of a number of personnel. I have learned that the court of inquiry in at least four cases have pointed to what is clearly not a case of maintenance of pilot error. Remember that these court of inquiries are meant to be secret and one is not aware of what the court of inquiry has said in other cases. The most famous of this is the crash that took place in 2019 in which the then Northern Army Commander Lieutenant General Ranbir Singh had thankfully escaped with minor injuries but a blackened eye and bruises on his face and body. The print was the first to report in October last year that the crash occurred after the collective, which controls the power to the rotors and back, had broken. Court of inquiry found that the rod had broken in half as if someone had cut it. However, further analysis showed that the rod had high fatigue marks as with other helicopters. Sources point out that the crash of an ALH known as a Rudra in Arunachal Pradesh also had similar reasons. Now a top government regulatory body responsible for the certification of military aircraft is undertaking a full review of the Dhruvs, the key workhorse of the Indian military, following the spate of accidents. The committee set up by the Bangalore-based Centre for Military Airworthiness and Certification, that is a SEMILAC, which has representatives from the manufacturer Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, National Aerospace Laboratories, that is a NAL, and the Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA, has already identified certain issues in the preliminary study. SEMILAC is a regulatory body under the DRDO, that is a Defense Research and Development Organization, that is mandated to certify the airworthiness of military aircraft, helicopters, unmanned aerial systems, aero engines, air-launched weapons, and other airborne stores. The SEMILAC panel has found that certain parts are showing higher fatigue than what the time frame is. So this is something that one would be considering to change, the sources explained. They explain that if normally a particular part has a flying life of about 300 hours, then it is serviced or replaced after 300 hours. However, if the fatigue is developing much before 300 hours, then one will have to reduce the flying life mentioned so that necessary replacement or service can be done. Sosa said that there is no actual design flow, but issues with metallurgy. However, critics point out that the fact that the life cycle of these items, which the Semilac itself cleared, have to be reduced shows that it is a design flaw. And design doesn't mean just the helicopter, but also the parts that go into it and the life cycle of these parts. Plus, they point out that this is a manufacturing defect as well because the parts were accepted by HAL and HAL is responsible as much as Semilac for the life cycle calculation and verification. Services hope that the maintenance of these helicopters become much more easy than what it already is. At the same time, they also hope that 
a reworking of the life cycle as far as certain parts are concerned would ensure that there are no specific technical defects that come to light in future flying. For the print, this is Snehi Shalex Philip. Do subscribe to our Prince YouTube channel for more such videos.